In this lecture, let us discuss about semantic role labeling, which is a technique that involves identifying roles played by different words or phrases in a sentence. And this allows us to understand the meaning of a sentence in terms of who, that is who is performing the action, what type of action, where it is being performed, when it was done and how it was happened. So all these actions will be described. So if you take some common roles in semantic role labeling, the first role is agent. That is nothing but the entity performing the action. So if you take the sentence, the dog chased the ball. So here the dog is the doer of an action. So dog is performing the action here. So dog becomes the agent. And then theme. So who is being affected by this action? So the entity which is affected is the ball because dog chased the ball. And the goal is the destination or recipient of the action. So where that action happened? So she went to the park. So to the park is the destination or we can say that it is recipient of the action. An experiencer, so entity who experiences that particular state or event. Say if the sentence is she heard a sound. So who heard that sound? Who experienced that sound means she. Then instrument, so the tool or means used to perform the action. Say if the sentence is he fixed the chair with a hammer. So how the chair was fixed or which type of tool was used? So that is nothing but, so it was fixed with the help of a hammer. So with the hammer is a instrument. Then time, temporal aspect of the action. Say if the sentence is she practices in the morning. Then in the morning is the time during which that action was performed. So take the sentence, John gave Mary the book on his birthday. So find out roles. So first here we need to find out verb which is a predicate. So here verb is gave. Then find out all the roles, remaining roles, agent. So who is performing this action? John. So John becomes agent. And theme. So theme is giving book. So the item being given is book which becomes theme. Then recipient. So who is receiving that? Mary. And time. So when that book was received by Mary on his birthday. So John gave Mary the book on his birthday. So this is the time or uh, this is the day on which that particular action happened. So you can even break down the sentence like this by explaining each and every role clearly. So that's what we discussed. Agent is the one who is giving the book. So agent is John. And the theme is the item that is being given. So the book is the theme here in the sentence. And recipient, Mary received the book. So she is recipient and the time. So when she received that book on, on his birthday. So that should be labeled as time. So after this, we are getting like this. So this is the structure of the semantic roles in the sentence. So we need to label all the entities present in the sentence. Let's take one complex sentence. After the meeting, Sarah sent John the report via email and he responded with feedback. So first step is you need to break down, break down the sentence and then label the semantic roles. So find out verb. Verb is Sarah sent. So sent is verb. Agent, who is performing this action? Sarah. And who received it? John. Then the theme. So what does John received? The report. This is the item being sent by the Sarah. And the instrument. So how that uh, report was sent to Sarah via email. So that is considered as an instrument. Second action is responded. So first we saw sent. Second is respond. 
so verb is responded agent so who is uh, sending the response john so here agent is john in the previous case sent we considered sent so agent is sara so we need to check that difference then theme so what is being sent by this john feedback earlier it is report now it is feedback and the recipient who received this response back sara okay so in this way we need to write two different actions one for the sender and the other for the receiver so if you break it down further you'll get for the action sent you can represent everything clearly like this agent recipient theme and instrument whereas for the action responded agent theme recipient and this is the overall structure so after uh, breaking down we need to assign semantic roles to every word so here we are assigning this agent role to sara recipient to john theme to the report instrument to via email theme to feedback in response action and recipient as sara in the action of receiving the feedback 